Welcome to this video presentation. CBAP at 10. In the beginning was the idea that it would be good to gather all the theological professors in the Philippines into an organization. In the 1970s, Bishop Cirilo Almario, then the head of the Episcopal Commission for the Biblical Apostolate, or ECBA, formed Biblical Association of the Philippines. But after a good start, it failed. The reasons were many. In 1986, when Bishop Chrysostomo Tom Yalong became chairperson of ECBA, he thought of a group of professors who would focus on the biblical field. His initial idea was to gather exegetes from different schools and ask them to be consultants of the biblical commission. In 1998, while in Rome for the Synod of Bishops, he spoke with the students of the Biblicum, the Gregorian, and the Angelicum, who shared their desire for an association of biblical professors as help for their eventual ministry in the Philippines. In March 1999, Bishop Yalung gathered a group with whom he shared his desire to organize the biblical scholars of the country into an association. Several months after, on July 22 to 23, the first meeting of 32 Filipino Bible scholars at PINE Seminary in Tagaytay City. Inspired by Father James Swetnam S.J. of Biblicum, the participants enthusiastically gathered to form themselves into an association. The committee was mandated to register the association at the Securities and Exchange Commission. To prepare the launching of the association during the Jubilee year 2000 and to draft its constitution and bylaws. On July 28 to 30, 2000, the first annual convention was held at the FINMA Foundation Training Center in Tagaytay City now known as the Catholic Biblical Association of the Philippines, or CBAP. The association was officially launched on July 13. Its constitutions and bylaws were approved by 48 official members. A board of trustees composed of nine officers was elected at large who in turn chose the officials of the association. Father Vic Salanga, SJ, became the first CBAP president. On March 16, 2000, the CBAP was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission as a non-stock, non-profit association. CBAP is exclusively for religious purposes. First, to promote the advancement of biblical studies. Second, to facilitate the exchange of information, research, teaching, application, especially here in the country, the Philippines, among biblical scholars, the universities, colleges, and seminaries and to foster collaboration with all the common projects. 
The CPAP also aims to encourage and foster friendly collaboration with the members of other recognized biblical organizations and with the Episcopal Commission for the Biblical Apostolate in the service of Catholic Church. In addition, the CBAP aims to sponsor biblical symposia, meetings of biblical scholars, lecture tours, and other academic and social activities among its members. Last but not the least, it aims to serve as a professional body that may advise government, private sector, and the Christian churches and value formation to help orient study and research in the biblical field for deeper understanding of the Philippine cultural heritage. To be a CBAP member, one must have a license sheet or a doctoral degree in sacred scripture. Membership is open to non-Catholic biblical scholars. Aside from full-fledged members, CBAP has also associate members who have obtained their master's degree in theology, major in biblical studies. They also must have a working knowledge of biblical languages, Greek and Hebrew. The CBAP is led and managed by the Board of Trustees elected during the annual convention. It is headed by the President and other officials chosen by the Board. Its base is the Loyola School of Theology, where the Board regularly meets. Father Vic Salanga was President from its inception until July 2007. He was succeeded by Father Victor Nickdow and then by Father Randy Flores. Father Herbert Snyder has been the Executive Secretary since July 2007. Highlight of the activities is the National Convention held in Finma Training Center, usually held around the third week of July. Well, since we started, we've had an annual convention and we invite a speaker usually, well, it has always been from abroad, somebody well-known in the field of New or Old Testament. And this is, uh, this is a wonderful opportunity for us here in the Philippines to have access to speakers that we read about but never, never get a chance to see or listen to. And it also uh, it gives us contact with them. Uh, many, many people remain in contact with the speaker afterwards. And it's, it's helpful. And, I, and also the various schools around uh, the area, LSD, MSD, IFRS, benefit from their presence and the fact that our students would never, ever get a chance to see such people. We read the books, we know their names, so we get a chance to see them, to experience them, and to, uh, to get good input like people get in, the, in other countries, in Europe and in America, we don't have the opportunity to go to those conventions, so the convention comes to us to speak. Well, some of the ones that I myself, I, I, I contacted A.J. Levine, uh, at the, in the beginning, I had a little trouble with the Board of Trustees because they said, why are they Jews in the Philippines? The main feature of the convention is the presence and conference of a noted biblical scholar from abroad. His or her lecture is complemented by a CBAP counterpart. Aside from the two main papers, workshop papers are also presented by CBAP members and guest presenters. During the convention, the participants are also joined by observers, mostly those who are undergoing biblical studies in the country. In this way, they are encouraged in their biblical pursuits. The convention offers opportunities for members to be updated with new developments in biblical studies, to renew friendships, and to welcome newcomers to the association. The guest speakers whose trip to the Philippines is being sponsored by the Catholic Biblical Association of America also give lectures 
in theology schools in the national capital region and in some places. Since its formal launching, has successfully held the national convention in July in Tagaytay in 2000 with a the theme announcing a year of favor of the Lord. The key guest speaker was John Lambrecht from the Catholic University of Leuven. In 2001, In 2002, in 2003, in 2004. In 2005 In 2006 2007 in 2008 CBAP publishes two books annually, coming out of the convention. The first is the Proceedings of the Annual Convention, which contains the papers of two major speakers, the workshop papers, and other pertinent materials. The second is the CBAP Lectures, which contains the different lectures of the guest speaker in theological schools. The members receive the proceedings, while lectures are disseminated more widely. CBAP has survived because of the financial assistance from three institutions. Misio Aachen has given support to help finance the annual convention, the publications, and the summer language program. The Catholic Biblical Association of America sponsors the plane ticket of the guest lecturer, and FINMA allows the use of its comfortable training center and gives financial contribution for the convention. CBAP has started an endowment fund that hopefully will make it more financially stable. Bishops and major religious superiors heeded its appeal for financial support. And so CBAP has something of an endowment fund. But the amount is much lower than was expected. And so much effort is still needed to make the fund viable. CBAP 
CBAP works in tandem with the Loyola School of Theology in giving summer language program, offering Hebrew and Greek to students who are pursuing a master's degree with specialization in scriptures. CBAP members serve as professors, while LSD offers the venue. So far, certain number of students have availed of this program. CBAP originally thought of forming regional groupings to gather together Bible scholars who are close to one another in both location and language. But regional meetings never took off. Instead, members come together as interest groups, like Old Testament and New Testament groups. The Old Testament group usually holds their meetings in Manila, the national capital region, and nearby places, while the New Testament group ventures out of town, going as far as Tagaytay, Pampanga, Baguio, Vigan, Cebu, and Bacolod. In these places, the group members also hold symposia for groups interested in scriptures. Aside from promoting biblical studies as a professional body, CBAP members on their own engage in lecture tours and speaking engagement about the Bible. In the year of St. Paul, 2008 to 2009, many were invited to give talks on the life and teaching of the Apostle. Little by little, the faithful and the church authorities in the country are getting to know the CBAP and refer to the association whenever they need experts to speak about the Word of God. Catholic Biblical Association of the Philippines at 10 to have survived and still finds itself growing strong and in good health is no small accomplishment. In fact, the CBAP has accomplished many things, but still a greater challenge lies ahead of us. While we rely on the help of the Lord, it is also true that the future of CBAP lies in the hands of the CBAP members and the CBAP leadership.